Hey everyone, this is Mike uh, with a tutorial on Book Creator. So Book Creator is a fun, cool app um, that kids can use to create books. And uh, it's a lot like Wixie. So we have Wixie uh, linked into our computers. Um, Wix, so they're very similar. Uh, the county pays for Wixie. Uh, they do basically the same thing. I think Wixie is a little bit better with the littles. Um, the the amount of clicking is, everything is really just right there. Just one click and then you're good. With Book Creator, you've got a little bit more options, and then um, you do have the Publish to Online, and then um, every, there's a couple more menus and different more upgraded options, so might be better with the bigger crit. But either way, uh, both of Wixie and Book Creator will uh, work just fine. So here is your URL. You go to uh, app.bookcreator.com, and then it's going to pull up this. It defaults to student sign-in, so make sure you switch to teacher, and then you can... Uh, sign in with any of these. So we'll sign in with our Google. That's usually the easiest. And then it's going to pull up one of my libraries. So I'm going to take a step out and look at the teacher dashboard. So over here on these three lines, teacher dashboard, you get two libraries. Within each library, you can have 40 books. You can on the three lines, you can archive this library, and then it will let, let you create another library. If you want more than three li two libraries at one time open, you have to pay to create a new library. Okay. Now this little circle right here says I have made this library. Every book in this library is published to the web so it can be found. Um, and what I would think of these libraries is kind of like your project. So what project do you want to do with your kids? And then they will make a book and you will share a code with them and that, that book will link to that library. So therefore you will see all the kids' books in these libraries to see what their progress is. Okay. Here are some resources, um, elementary and primary. So this takes them to their website. All these resources have some sort of ebook with some ideas in there. And then they show you some samples from kids and student, students. And then there's always an introductory video. This video goes through uh, Book Creator in much more depth. So it's about 48 minutes, so it might be worth something to check out. All right. So then we can go back to our art and then you'll resources and you'll see that they have all these different resources for the different subjects. Everyone, these are all the same. They have some sort of ebook with ideas and pro, sam, projects. They give you some sample books of what teachers or students have done before, and then it provides you with a video here for project ideas. So something to uh, something a resource at your fingertips to. All right, so you got your libraries, you got your resources. Let's go back here. Up here is kind of who is in this library, what's been going on. You can say, I have three books, my daughter has one. Here is invite others. So this is the code they would need to join your library or to put their books in that library. Okay, you can also get that right here. All right, down here in the bottom, you have your button to kind of do some moving or move things around in your libraries. And then here is where you would share the individual book. So if I wanted to share this book, I could just say publish book. It's going to be published. And then it, click here to get the link. It will copy it. And then you can send me the link if you want to, and I can post it up on the website so we can share it with parents. If you ever want to stop sharing that, publishing that, you just click down here on the share again and stop publishing and it will turn it off. Now you could do every one of these books, but if you've got 20 books in here and you want to share it, there is a way over here we can just go to the cog wheel. We can turn all these on. These are different options that you might want to have your students uh, available to them. And then you can just say view online and this will share the entire library, so all those books. So it's a little bit easier to do that way. Okay, You can always stop publishing and that will Okay, so again, go up here to the cog, publish it, get that URL, send me that URL, tell me what's going on, and I can put it on the uh, school website, and you can share it with parents and all the work. Okay. All right, the next button down at the bottom here is just the play button. This is actually making the book kind of look like what it's supposed to look like. All right, you do have some options options to read. You've me. reached the end of the book. You have some options for settings here, the speed of the reading, turn the page automatically. You could publish this individual book or download it as an email, and then that's the viewer if you want to view it like this. And then you just hit back to books. All right, so 
that kind of takes you through these menus. Um, these menus up here again, that's just publishing the whole library. Let's go ahead and make a new book. So you click the new book. Now what's nice about um, Book Creator versus Wix eBooks, Creator does have this comic book uh, layout. So um, Wixi only has landscape and portrait. So let's just put portrait. And then it's pretty, here's your pages. You can see your different pages. I got a front cover and then a page two and three in the back. Um, basically you're gonna select that page and then you can add your media or shapes to it. Um, you can import pictures. These are your options to pick, import pictures. Um, you can pull them directly from the web or if you have them on your drive, you can use that option. Um, we can hit information and we can make some background colors. Um, choose some comic coloring, different papers, and chalkboard, stuff like that. So you can play with those patterns and textures. Um, one thing I would suggest with kids is make sure they kind of have their uh, information first that they're going to write in here, or else they'll spend all day trying to fit, choose the perfect background. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to media, and let's we imported some pictures, cameras for the camera to turn it on. Looks like it's not working. Um, there's the pen, so the pen is just different pens, paint brushes. You got colors, erasers up here. Um, these are pretty funky colors. So um, you got fillers. You can just fill the whole thing. And this is kind of fun emojis. You can put some emojis in there. When you're done, you click done. Okay. Oh, there he goes, picked up there. All right, um, let's see. We can incorporate some text. Now, if you want to change that text, you need to have it the square around it and then you hit information on that text and then you can change some aspects of the test of the text. Okay. Um, and then you can also add voice. So this would be a nice option for our L students if they aren't very strong with the written English language. They could just make a book and then they could just insert the recording. So again, it's a nice option to have them work on their speech or you could have all kids do it and work on their communication. You say, yep, use that recording. It's gonna put a little microphone there. Again, it's a nice option to have them and then if they want to see what the book, you just read the book. Okay. All right. Now, if you want to give their book a title, we go back to um, their library. You can do it several ways, but this is one of the easiest ways just down here. You can add it down here. So other than that, it's pretty simple to use, pretty intuitive. Um, I think kids will like it. So, um, and it does have that really neat option where you can share all those kids libraries. So uh, if you use it, share me the link and I can put it up on your class website, on your webpage for the school's website. Um, so yeah, if you're gonna do this and you want me to come in and help you, just invite me, let me know the date and I can come in and help kids a little bit. Or if you want to sit down and just kind of discuss it, uh, feel free to email me and we can set up a time. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, feel free to stop by. Thank you. Have a great day.